Hey, what's up guys? We here at Roblox Games put a lot of time and effort into our content and it would be very much appreciated if you could drop a like on this video and if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to our channel for more content. The criteria for our game ratings were the combination of IGN, Metacritic, GameSpot, and our own scores added up into one overall rating for each game with a score out of 35. Firewatch was released on February 9th. This game takes place in Wyoming, a state in America, during 1989. Players take on the role of Henry, a fire lookout who was assigned to his own tower in Shoshone National Forest. Through exploration of the surrounding area, Henry uncovers clues about mysterious occurrences in the vicinity that are related to the ransacking of his tower while out on a routine patrol and a shadowy figure that occasionally appears watching him from afar. Fans and critics really enjoyed the mysterious vibe this game had. Along with the 80s 90s atmosphere, Firewatch scored a 28.3 out of 35. Final Fantasy XV was released on November 29th. Final Fantasy XV is an open-world action role-playing game where players take control of main protagonist Noctis Lucius Calum during his journey across the world of Eos. While accompanied by his three companions, Gladiolus, Ignis, and Prompto, Noctis is the only character directly controlled by the player. He can navigate through simple movement, jump over small obstacles, sprint for a limited time, and perform context-based actions such as taking cover behind objects. The world is a large connected landmass that can be explored on foot or by using the party's car. Final Fantasy XV was one of the most anticipated games of the year and delivered on what fans wanted. That being said, it scored a 28.3 out of 35. The Division was released on March 8th and takes place in a mid-crisis Manhattan. The Division is an open-world, third-person role-playing game with destructive environments that are free for players to explore. The player's mission is to restore order by investigating the source of a virus. The player's character can carry three weapons and explosives like sticky bombs and smart minds to fight against enemies. Players may take cover behind objects during firefights to avoid taking damage from enemies. The Division was a very good game, but could have done a bit better at storytelling. That being said, it ended up getting a score of 28.4 out of 35. Watch Dogs 2 was released on November 15th and is similar to its predecessor. Watch Dogs 2 is an action-adventure game with stealth elements, played from a third-person perspective as a protagonist, Marcus Holloway, a young hacker from Oakland, California. The game features an open world set in a fictionalized version of San Francisco Bay Area, an area more than twice as large as the Chicago setting from Watch Dogs 1. Players can navigate the city on foot or by the various vehicles featured in the game, such as cars, trucks, buses, cable cars and motorbikes, quad bikes and boats. This game has a hacking aspect to it that you don't really see in other third person free roam games. This game was clearly better than its predecessor and got a score of 28.7 out of 35. Madden 17 was released on August 23rd. Madden hasn't really changed that much in the last several years, but in NFL 17 they released these new features that were added to the game, which include an upgrade of the ground game, a redesign and better franchise mode, Madden 365, new ball carrier UI prompts help teach moves available to you, while the new patch assist helps you navigate and anticipate downfield and more. They have also announced that they would hire new announcers. The developers at EA decided not to allow Madden players to vote for the Madden NFL 17 cover athlete. Madden scored a 28.9 out of 35. The Last Guardian was released on December 6th. Its story is framed as a flashback narrative told by an older man recounting his experience as a young boy meeting a giant feathered creature resembling a griffin named Trico. In the flashbacks present, 
The boy has been kidnapped under the mysterious circumstances and taken to a large expanse of castle. The boy wakes to find tattoos on his body he did not have before being kidnapped. The boy finds a way to escape captivity and encounters the weakened creature Trico. Fans were waiting to play this game for over 5 years due to an early announcement of the game and lots of delays. The Last Guardian could have been a bit better but still was an amazing game and got a score of 29 out of 35. FIFA 17 was released on September 27th and was almost just an updated version of FIFA 16. They added a new mode called The Journey and it added another aspect of FIFA for fans to play and kind of saved it from getting a lot of bad press since Pez was catching up in the eyes of critics. Players play the role of Alex Hunter, a young footballer trying to become a pro soccer player. Alex Hunter is a 17 year old male from Clapham, London. Hunter's grandfather is a former English striker. Under his grandfather's guidance, Hunter tries to be one of the best footballers in the English Premier League, and this mode is a fun journey for any fan of FIFA. Along with this mode, they changed the FIFA Ultimate Team up a bit to make it easier to build a good team and FIFA scored a 29.2 out of 35. Mankind Divided was released on August 23rd and takes place in the year 2029, two years after an event in which mechanically augmented humans became uncontrollable and lethally violent. In Mankind Divided, you play the role of Jensen, who returns to Prague and meets with his juggernaut contact, Alex Vega, who tasks him with planting a listening device in Task Force 29 communication systems to determine the scope of the Illuminati's involvement in a we weapon smuggling heist. Mankind Divided won Best Console Game, Best Game Design, Best Narrative, Best Performance, and Game of the Year at the Canadian Video Game Awards of 2016, and was nominated for Best Role Playing Game at the Game Awards 2016. All that being said, it scored a 29.2 out of 35. NBA 2K17 was released on September 20th, and some critics say it's the best basketball game of all time. One of the improvements is the game's returning My GM and My League game mode. Both modes have the player acting as the ruling force of all basketball operations for a specific team and allow the player to customize many aspects of the team. My GM is more focused on maintaining a realistic functioning team, whereas My League offers far more customization options. Like previous iterations of the mode in the series, the player creates a basketball player and plays through their career. The player customizes their player's appearance and upgrades their attributes as they play through a college career and enter the NBA. The player plays basketball games and participates in off-court activities. A storyline written and directed by Creed scriptwriter Aaron Covington is also present. It features appearances by actors Michael B. Jordan and Hannibal Burris, among others. NBA 2K17 got a 29.4 out of 35. Titanfall 2 was released on October 28th. Similar to its predecessor, the game is a first person shooter in which players can control both the pilot and the titans. The conflict of the game takes place in a system of planets called the Frontier. It is fought between the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation and the Frontier Militia, who are fighting for control over the system due to the IMC's abusive treatment of the planet's resources and civilian populations. The player assumes control of a former squad mate's titan named BT-7274 to fight against both local alien creatures and human enemies from Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation. The multiplayer is very well done but still felt like it was unbalanced or something was missing but that being said it's a very fun game and it got a score of 29.4 out of 35.
If you agree or disagree with anything in this video, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.